Hello everyone, this is Jake of Ship from Philippines Lazada and in this video, this is a guide for our product. This is a 4G 5G ready MIMO external antenna for your modem for Globe at Home, PLDT and Smart. Now, this is compatible with the frequencies of the set networks and it will be effective if you'll know how to use it or to install it. And in this video, we're going to show you the package contents, okay? the modem antenna or the antenna parts i should say and also the installation guide so let's go with the specifics or the specifications of this product now the frequency range is 698 megahertz to 2700 megahertz and also it is compatible with the newest 3500 5g of smart so 698 megahertz to 2700 megahertz is the right frequency for Philippine use. Now, that said, let's go to the parts. Okay, we have here are the bolts or not the nuts for the locking mechanism or the bolts of the at the back of your antenna. Okay, so I'll show you that later on. So, this is a two nylon ties. Okay. And the L bracket, this connects your panel or the antenna to your metal pipe. And then, this is the U-bolt, okay? This will connect the metal pipe to your L bracket. And we have here our two 15 meters line coaxial cable of the LMR240 coaxial cable this is one of the best if not the best 50 ohms coaxial cable in the market okay see th this is better than rj58 and so let's go with the installation of the product now for the installation you need to have at least a plier okay this is an ordinary plier so that you could install the bolts the nuts to bolts and also if you have better have 9 8, 8 mm and 10 mm wrench okay this will come in handy installing the l bracket and the this one this is your u bolt and you need to have a steel pipe something like this okay this should be installed outside your home and on the rooftop about at least one meter above rooftop. You don't need to have it so high because it, this is a good antenna and you don't have you don't need to have it so high. So what size of steel pipe do you need? Okay, ask your hardware for size one half to one and a half in NPS they know that if you have three port you have what size one pipe then that's good enough or what the biggest will be one and a half and how to install this okay first assemble the back panel okay you have here is your two ties cable ties we'll show you that later on and then this is a 12 pieces Okay, I hope you could see this. 12 pieces nuts. Let's zoom on that. Okay. This is the back panel. And then, you just need to remove the protection, the black rubber on the bolts. And this can be installed two ways. The left side and the right side so there's no much difference but if you prefer one side from another that's your choice next you need to put in the washer one two three four next the washer lock this will lock the screws or the nuts in place over time washer nut 
this is like a c-shaped sp spring which will push the nuts out so that it will be tightened lastly the nuts this is an 8 mm nut just screw this in with your hands okay and we'll tighten it using our number 8 mm open range if you have close range that's not a problem but if you don't have you could just use your plier so that's very easy and then your 8 mm okay let's show you that okay i hope you could see that okay so just tighten this okay until it, you think it's tight enough you could feel that it's tight enough okay by the way this is waterproof weatherproof because there's a ceiling on the side and if you prefer if you don't have the 8 mm range you could use a plier okay but this is your last recourse because it's easier to use the 8 mm okay? this is just an alternative next just tighten this because it, this is so easy now we have we have this and then the next step now as i've said this is a size one okay size number one steel pipe and you could have an ordinary type if you want okay and then get your u bolt So, we have here are the parts of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, there are 8 parts of the locking mechanism. So, this is a double nut. There are 2 nuts. Okay. 1, 2 washers. Also, on the other side, we have two nuts. And the spring lock. Okay, just the same for the back panel. Now, the correct installation for this is... Okay, and then something like this. Okay, and then all the all the nuts goes in the outside part, this part. So where's the washers? Then the lock, C lock. Or the spring lock and the big nut you could just use, use your hand first because that's easier and then the last is the last nut okay this is a size 10 mm okay and okay So after that, you will see that it will form a circle in here. So loosen that first so that the pipe 
will go through that circle. Okay, and using your hands, just tighten that just a bit. So that you could twist this before finally locking the zebra. Notice that you have an angle here. You need to have it angled if you are avoiding trees. Okay. Somewhere between them in the middle. Okay. So slightly angled. That's fine. As long as you're facing direction is facing your network tower. That is fine. And now if you think this for example this, this side is where the tower network is you just have to lock this not using the 10 mm wrench okay lock that up until it's tight enough so that it doesn't slide downwards Okay, for this video, I'm not gonna lock this so far because just to save time, but you get the idea, right? Okay, and I haven't yet locked that. Okay, once it's locked up. This is how it will look. And the angle is like oh, somewhere between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Okay? So, and lastly, you need to have a loop. This is important so that it will boost the signal. The loop is something like a circle. This is the last part. This is the cable ties. We need to have a loop here, okay? Just loop this twice. Okay? This is just an example, okay? So, do this loop around within the 1 meter below the antenna. So you could see that there's a loop, okay, and I'm gonna I'm going to lock that here. So one loop done. And then do this to the other side as well. Let's just do that for this video's sake. Okay? Okay, you have here now our two loops. Let's just see that. Okay, you have two loops equal in size and then lock by your two nylon ties. And this is for two purposes. One is to boost the signal because this is a coil loop. And two is to absorb tension so that this part is connected or the wire 
is connected when someone is pulling this end. And lastly, you just have to connect the SMA mail to your modem. Then restart your modem. And that's it. We're gonna have a better signal. And one advice is to follow our guide or the table. Okay, we're gonna show you that now. This is the RSRP table. On the left are the values. They are arranged there. And then on the right are the bars, the signal bars on your modem. You could look for it while tuning your antenna to the right direction, okay? So the best ideals are on the third and fourth column. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. This is Jake again of Ship from Philippines, Lazada.